This part of the video assumes that you already have a good technical understanding of how to set up MicroTIC equipment. If not, please order a pre-configured gateway. Now that I have a hotspot created in the Marketing for Wi-Fi platform, I want to go ahead and configure a new MicroTIC gateway and tie it to that hotspot. The first thing I'll do is open the Support Knowledge Base article on configuring a MicroTIC so I can copy and paste some of the required settings right from that page. I'll also have the Marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard open, and now I'll open Winbox. The new access point's connected to power, and I already have it plugged into a switch port with internet access. Be sure you connect your MicroTIC gateway to the internet as one of the required steps in the script that will generate downloads a file from the Marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is prepare the MicroTIC gateway. Uh, that way it's factory reset and uh, ready to apply some scripts to. So what I'm gonna do is go into my Winbox. One of the things that I really like to do and stress that you do as well is check for updates and just make sure it's got the latest firmware release uh, uh, because a lot of times there's security releases and you wanna make sure to have the latest firmware. So I know I've done that. And then what I'm gonna do is reset it so there is zero configuration on this. So in order to do that, just click no default configuration and do not back up. So I'm not just talking about a factory reset because a factory reset does have configuration uh, items in it. I want the, the box essentially empty with no setting changes at all. So no default configuration, do not back up and just hit reset and the device will end up rebooting. Okay, now that I've got uh, the hardware reset, uh, it's, it's ready to go. Uh, I'm just gonna stand by here and click new terminal because I'm gonna be pasting a script in here that's essentially going to configure the device uh, directly from the Marketing for Wi-Fi platform. So I'm gonna tab over to the Marketing for Wi-Fi platform and basically I wanna set up a new gateway and tie that gateway and associate it rather to the hotspot that I just created. So I'm gonna click uh, add a gateway and I'm gonna tie it to my trial hotspot. And I'm gonna go ahead and name that. I'll say trial MicroTIC1. And I'm gonna tell it it's a MicroTIC. So I've chosen a MicroTIC. Now I'm just gonna put in the MAC address for the MicroTIC. And now the MAC addresses are very, very, very small on the box. So I usually go back into WinBox and I'll just copy it from here and then paste it uh, right into the Marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard. Um, I can set the SSID up now. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this default for the purposes of this trial. Uh, I'm gonna choose to turn on the wireless LAN ports to the splash page. And what that will do then is the uh, individual uh, ethernet ports that are in the back of the MicroTIC box will deliver the splash page because maybe I have other access points that I'm going to plug into this uh, and I can have this device act as a gateway. I can also turn on WLAN 2 if uh, you want to have uh, you know, not just guest access but private access. I can make some other changes here uh, and we have walled garden entries. We can make manual changes here. Um, all of this uh, detail information can be found in the support knowledge base. Uh, or of course you can contact support. So once you have the MAC address in, you just click submit. And now that gateway is tied to that hotspot. I'll go ahead and find it in here and I'm gonna click edit. So when I edit that, you'll notice now there's a MicroTIC script view. So if I click that view, this is actually giving me the script that I can go ahead and paste directly into Winbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I just copied it. Uh, that is a dynamically generated script using, you know, and it's specific to this particular MicroTIC. So uh, I go back to Winbox. Once I'm on that terminal, I can go ahead and paste that. And it's gonna configure the device for the marketing for Wi-Fi platform. Now, it's normal for it to kick out uh, once or twice as the Ethernet ports get uh, reconfigured as well. You can just simply go right back in to the terminal window and repaste again, and it should get past uh, those interface sets. And then it's going to go right to the very end, and it's actually 
completing right now. So if you notice the last steps, it said connecting and then finished, finished. What it's actually doing is going out to the internet, uh, going to the marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard and pulling a couple files uh, that are needed to uh, operate and bring up the splash page properly. So make sure that when you are configuring this device, it is attached to the internet. Otherwise, it won't be able to get these two files that are here. So basically, now that I've pasted that script in, I'll go back to the marketing for Wi-Fi dashboard and take a look. I'll just hit refresh and you'll notice here that it's connecting and I'm actually connected to that device now. So one of the really neat features that we do have in the dashboard if you configure Microtix is the ability to send scripts directly to the Microtix. So if it's in the field, uh, you can send terminal scripts uh, directly to the device. You can change the SSID remotely. Uh, you can turn on and off uh, isolation. You can basically anything you can do in, at Winbox uh, through the script you can run here. And we also do uh, under reports and then gateway status, we actually will tell you whether this device is up or down. But that is all to configure a Microtik router uh, please check the support knowledge base uh, for some additional details because you obviously want to change the admin password for the device as well. Uh, but uh, either way, that's all it took to set up a Microtik with the marketing for Wi-Fi platform.